Let's move right along here now to the Washington Redskins and their rumors. And this one revolves around Antonio Brown. And I know what you're saying. If you're a chat sports fan or really even an NFL fan in general, it feels like every single team is rumored to have a play in Antonio Brown. Well, the Redskins are one of those teams because it actually makes sense. I think the Redskins and the rumor is they're starting to target Antonio Brown because, of course, we all know just a couple days ago, Antonio Brown officially announced that he has asked for a trade from the, from the Pittsburgh Steelers. So he's going to leave. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to trade him. It's a matter of when and a matter of to what team. And we already talked about in multiple past videos that the price for Antonio Brown could be anywhere between a fourth and sixth round pick. I know a lot of people in the comment section don't believe that, but that's what people are saying the price is going to be. No one is going to spend a first rounder on Antonio Brown. I'm going to say that right now. I don't think there's any team out there that's willing to give up a first round draft pick for what is an aging wide receiver, a wide receiver with some domestic abuse problems that coming up this past offseason, and a wide receiver who's been a diva and has really been kind of a burden to carry for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's not going to be that high of a price of a first-round draft pick. And so, of course, the Redskins might be able to be in play here because they need someone to take the top off of their defense. Albert Breer from the Monday Morning Quarterback, he mentioned, and when his trade destinations for the Browns as the Redskins being a legit possibility... We can look at the stats. We know how good Antonio Brown is. 74 touchdowns in his career, 837 catches, 11,207 yards. He's great. We know. Like, we know how good he is. And I know many of you are saying there's no way we could trade a first-round draft pick to get him on the Washington Redskins. But I'm telling you guys, he's not going to cost a first-rounder. He's going to cost anywhere between, in my opinion, as high as a third, maybe a second, all the way back to a sixth. This is a real possibility for the Washington Redskins. Listen, they need a playmaker. They need someone to pair up with Darius Geis, who's going to come back and play running back. He'll be good for them, but they need someone to take the top off of the defense, and Antonio Brown has a lot of value. If you can get him, like we said, for that third to sixth round draft pick, I think he could be a good option for Washington. What do you guys think? Do you want Antonio Brown on the Redskins? Should the Redskins trade for Antonio Brown? Type Y for yes or N for no. And that's going to move us right along into our next Washington Redskins rumors here on the NFC East rumors. And this one revolves around the quarterback situation. And there's a rumor floating around that the Redskins might not be interested in a quarterback at all this offseason. Which to me, I know you're probably thinking it too, a little bit shocking because let's just review here. Alex Smith is probably not going to play... He probably won't play all of 2019. He might be able to come back late in the season, but experts are saying that he's not going to be ready for the 2019 season. So then you're looking at the fact that Alex Smith is due over $31 million over the next two years. If you cut Alex Smith this year or next year, it's a $40 million cap hit. So Alex Smith's money, his contract, he's got to stay on the Redskins and basically do nothing. He's going to be dormant in 2019. And head coach Jay Gruden, he's high on Colt McCoy. So here's the, here's, here's the whole scenario. The Washington Redskins would not do anything at the quarterback situation this offseason, except maybe sign a backup since Mark Sanchez is going to be a free agent. They could re-sign Mark Sanchez as well. But they would then make Colt McCoy the starter. Jay Gruden, as we said, he's been high on Colt McCoy. And so when you look at their depth chart, this is what it looks like. You're going to have Alex Smith. He's going to be on the team, but he's not going to play. Colt McCoy, he still has a couple years left on his on, on his contract, so he's going to stay. And then maybe you add another third quarterback, and you add him, bring back Mark Sanchez or insert backup quarterback name here. But the scenario is that the Redskins would not acquire anyone this offseason in the hope that Alex Smith is still good to go in 2020. The problem for the Redskins is that they kind of handcuffed themselves when they gave Alex Smith that $95 million contract. When you give someone that much money, and then they get injured, there's just nothing you can do about it. Alex Smith broke his leg. He's not going to be able to play in 2019. And now they got to deal with the consequences of that because they're not able to cut him, like we said. And they probably are going to go with Colt McCoy to continue the 2019 season, which then means, is this a lost season for the Washington Redskins? Are they going to be able to do anything with Colt McCoy at quarterback? I don't know. Redskins fans, I want to know what you guys think. Should the Redskins stay put? and not take anybody and keep the current quarterback situation that they have, or should they draft somebody? Let me know in the comments down below. Type S for stay put or D for draft somebody. I want to know your thoughts overall on the Redskins offense, Redskins fans. I know the quarterback situation is worrisome. What would you guys do? Let me know. I'm, I'm very curious to hear from you guys there.